All right, let's look at writing the equation of the line and slope intercept form given two points. So first thing when I'm writing my equation, so if I have y equals mx plus b, I don't know my slope or my intercept, but I can begin by finding my slope using the given points. So I'm going to do y minus y over x minus x, so that would be 8 over 4, which is 2. Now that I know my slope, I can use one of my two points to find the intercept. So I will pick my smaller numbers, my easier point, um, ones that are all positive maybe. For this one, they're about the same, so I just pick one. So I'm going to go to y equals mx plus b, and I'm trying to now find my intercept. So let's say I use this point. So I'm going to have negative 2 as my y-coordinate. My slope we just found was 2. My x-coordinate is 3, and I don't know my intercept. And I'm just going to solve this. So subtract 6. So I end up with my intercept equals to negative 8. Now I'll go back to slope-intercept form and replace my slope with 2 and my intercept with negative 8, and that would be my final answer. Okay, we'll look at one final example. So let's say I have the coordinates negative 12, 6, and negative 8, 9, and I want to find the line that passes through these two points. Remember in class we talked about that you need two points to make a line. So I'm going to start out by finding my slope. So I have y minus y over x minus x. So this would be 3 over negative 8 plus 12 would be positive 4. So I have a slope of 3 fourths. So I need my x coordinate to go into this. So 12 and 8 both go nicely into 3 fourths, so it doesn't really matter which one I use. So I'm just going to use the first point. So I have y equals mx plus b. I'm going to substitute in my y coordinate, my slope, my x coordinate, and I'll find my intercept. So I have 6 equals 3 fourths of 12 is 9. I could put a 1 underneath and multiply straight across. 3 times negative 12 is negative 36. Divided by 4 is negative 9. So plus b, add 9. So I have 15 equals b. Now I can go back to slope intercept form. So I have y equals mx plus b. So I have y equals 3 over 4x plus 15. That would be my final answer.